Hey filmmakers and hey Premiere Pro users, once again it's Dom here, the resident editor at Olufemi. In the previous tutorial I did, we talked about Premiere's long-awaited spell check feature and how useful it is to fix spelling mistakes internally inside Premiere. In this tutorial, I'm telling you about yet another new text feature in Premiere called Text Search. You can now search for and have the option to replace any text in any title that you have in your timeline. That is amazing. Now, in the last tutorial, I also gave a quick shout out to some of the comments that Josh noticed scrolling through your feedback on previous videos, and I wanted to take a moment now to acknowledge some more. And Josh told me to tell you that he reads every single comment, every single one. So keep it up. The first shout out is to Anthony Lenan, a two-time channel commenter for just getting started in his video editing career. Way to go, Anthony. And the second shout out is to Bernie Echeverria. I hope I said that right. Josh told me to say this from him. Bernie, love you brother. Yes, outlining your text is a dope way to add some spice to your titles. As always, this video is brought to you by Envato Elements. They have 1 million of the best digital products that you need every day as an editor. You get your first month for only $9. And I'm glad they exist because once again, I'm using assets from their massive library in this tutorial. Premiere Text Search was only available in Premiere Pro Beta, but I've downloaded version 22.1.2 and I can confirm that spell check is present. So we're in Premiere Pro and we see all of these titles in the timeline. Let's search specifically for the word house. Go up to window and click text. This brings up the text panel. Now click on the graphics tab. What we have here is a representation of all of our titles currently present in our sequence. Go over to the search bar and type house. Premiere does the search for you and you can now see all of the instances of house being used. Premiere automatically highlights them all for you and you can click through them using these arrows. Now what if we wanted to replace the word house for whatever reason with the word cabin? You can do so easily by clicking on this button. Type in the word you want to replace your previous word with, in this case, cabin, then click replace. And voila, all of the instances of house in your timeline have been replaced with cabin. And that's it guys. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, support the channel by signing up for Envato Elements. And as Josh always says, thanks so much for watching guys. And as always, remember to keep it chill.